So let's go down the rabbit hole that is Jay-Z and Beyonce, and a lot more. How did they first meet, the and when? To make well, in the interview with Charlie Ross, 2007, Jay-Z admitted that he met Beyonce when she was just 16 in 1997, and started dating yeah. around 1999. Everybody wanted to get involved. People that hadn't been with you for a while, like Diddy. Yeah. Comes to you and wants to be the executive producer. Yeah, yeah. Beyonce has had a history of occasional slips, particularly when it comes to recalling a rage during her first courtship. Over the years, she has mentioned being 17, 18, or 19. Depending on the interview, she definitely met Jay-Z when she was just a 16-yo girl in 1997. In a 2007 interview, Jay-Z mentioned first noticing Beyonce about 10 years earlier, around the time she was recording Destiny's Child's debut album at 15. This suggests he had been aware of her, or keeping an eye on her since she was 15 or 16, during the time she recorded, no, 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 no. Her 2008 interview with Seventeen magazine was another one when Beyonce revealed that Jay-Z was her first serious relationship, and that she had never lived with a man before him. She also mentioned that they began dating when she was 19, while he was 31. It gets really creepy when, in a song Jay-Z collaborated on with Pharrell years ago, he boasts about grooming a 19-year-old girl. Many listeners linked the lyrics to Beyonce, as she was 19 when their relationship began. Before dating Beyonce, Jay-Z was reportedly involved with Aaliyah. Jay-Z was born in 1969, while Aaliyah was born in 1979. Both Jay-Z and Dame Dash were linked to Aaliyah after her controversial marriage to R. Kelly, who was later exposed for his predatory behavior. Additionally, rumors circulated about Jay-Z and Foxy Brown, who was only 15 when she began working with him, adding further controversy to his early relationships. During right, the 2002 the MTV interview, interview music it's evident how nervous Jay-Z was when asked well, how he and Beyonce met. We met a long time ago. Award shows, a lot of different performances. And at what point did the conversation come, hey, do you want to do some music? You know how people, you know, you, you, uh, you, know, you see each other and you respect each other's music. You know, it's always that conversation, yo, we got to do something. You know that. Right. Oh, you know, yeah. the time filler. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When that time filler turns <laughs> into something real, then it's... Before marrying Jay-Z... Beyonce mentioned that he played a significant role in shaping her into the woman she is. However, relying too much on a partner can create unhealthy dependency, which can make it difficult to leave a toxic or unfaithful relationship. And every year, I'm even more in love with you. And I want to spend every day of my life. In an interview, okay. none of us have ever really been this close to her as, as, as the full-fledged superstar that she is now. During and the video this is during the scene with the chair. The so it's like her and several other girls, and they all have these short skirts on or dresses, whatever, yeah. and they're all dancing seductively on the chair. They've got a leg up on the chair, so you can kind of see the thigh and maybe a little bit of butt if you're staring hard enough. And um, Jay-Z calls and talks to... One of her assistants, if I had to guess, it would be her cousin, Angie, okay. that he would have talked to, because Angie was has always been the right hand to Beyonce. And he's like, yeah, how's the video going? Oh, it's going good. Or, Are the guys there? Yeah, they're there. You know, it's them and <laughs> some of their homies. And we're the only, all of the guys that are with us are the only men there. And, well, let's, let's say this. There were other men there, but they weren't straight. Sure. So... He's like, wait a minute, how many dudes are there? <laughs> and so she's like, oh, it's about nine or ten guys, I guess, over there. Where are they now? They're in here. They're in the sound stage. They're kind of watching, you know, <laughs> watching her film. What is she wearing? <laughs> they describe the outfit. And he's like, yo, clear the room. <laughs> wow, wow. So they immediately come over to us. And they kick all of us out. Mm -hmm. and send us up to our dressing rooms. Wow. And we're told to stay there. Wow. Until we have to shoot. Okay. We're not allowed to watch Beyonce dance anymore the in the video and so um i guess beyonce gets wind of the call mm -hmm. she comes up and she apologizes wow to us for having us having to, you know i'm so sorry you guys had to leave the room but 
Jay's not comfortable. And we we're like, no, we all we, yeah. we understand fully, right? <laughs> we're, we're like, no, it's no problem. We're happy to be here. Jay Z also refused to let Beyonce perform with Sean Paul at the VMAs, being the only man on stage with B, despite the public knowledge of R. Kelly's marriage to underage Aaliyah and the 2002 leak of a tape involving minors. Jay Z continued to collaborate with him in 2004 releasing two albums and going on tour together. Additionally, Nas later revealed in an interview that Jay-Z was aware that R. Kelly had minors in the studio during their time working together. Ephibophilia seems to be a recurring pattern of behavior with the Jay-Z leading to the ongoing R at P.E. and paternity suit. On December 9th, 2024, Jay's and Beyonce attend the Mufasa Bowl. It's a part of the movie that we She's forcing the young Hip-hop mogul Jay-Z is angrily denying a rape allegation against him. A lawsuit claims Jay-Z and Sean Diddy Combs raped a 13-year-old girl in 2000. In a statement, Jay-Z called the allegation idiotic, suggesting it was part of an extortion attempt and filed for the lawsuit's dismissal. Combs has also denied the allegation. He's currently behind bars awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. Sean Diddy Combs and Jay-Z shared a long-standing relationship marked by mutual respect and competition, rooted in their parallel ascents in the music and business worlds. Once seen as rivals in the 1990s hip-hop scene, their dynamic evolved into a complex mix of collaboration and friendly competition, as both have became cultural and entrepreneurial icons. While well, Diddy built an empire with ventures like Bad Boy Records, Z-Rock, and Revolt, Jay-Z has expanded his influence through Rock Nation, Tidal, and a partnership with Beyonce that made them a powerhouse couple. The two moguls celebrated each other's successes, and insiders say they know each other inside out. To date, Jay-Z has not publicly commented on P. Diddy being locked up and all the allegations and potential consequences. It's 2020, y'all, yeah, yeah. and it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch.